Hello, I'm Brian Noble, CEO of Family Policy Institute of Washington. And I'm Brad Payne, president of FPIW Action. Couple of disclaimers before we get started today. Nothing in this video is an endorsement of the candidate, nor the candidate's endorsement of FPIW or FPIW Action. It's simply a public service to meet and greet the candidate. All right. Well, Brad, welcome on. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you bet. So my first question is kind of a three-parter. If you would uh, just state your name and tell everybody what position you're specifically running for. Tell us a little bit about you and your family, and then uh, give us an idea of your experience for this position. Yeah, so I'm Brad Benton. I'm running for the state Senate in the 18th Legislative District, which is, you know, Vancouver, Washington area, right in the middle of Clark County. Um, second part of that question was? Second part was tell us a little bit about you and your okay. family. Yeah, so born and raised in Clark County, grew up my entire life here, went off to college at Whitworth University in Spokane, where I studied accounting and political science. And after college, went to work as an auditor for a public accounting firm out of their Portland office. Uh, did that for a number of years, but like a lot of people during COVID, I experienced some burnout and I needed to pivot. And so I went to work for a friend who owned a small business and helped him grow that. We built and cleaned backyard ponds. Uh, but I knew I didn't want to do that forever. So about two years ago, I pivoted again into a sales role. So I work for an industrial laundry and facility service supply company. Uh, Universe is the name of it as an inside sales guy. So I work with current customers helping to make sure that all their needs are met and taken care of. And for me, what that means as far as my experience is I've done some white collar, I've done some blue collar. I'm able to put myself in a lot of people's shoes. Um, and I think that that's important in somebody who's going to be representing folks in Olympia. A uh, little bit of a background about my family. My dad is Don Benton, who was in the state legislature for 22 years uh, two as a rep and 20 as a senator from the 17th district. So I grew up in a household where we were talking about politics and government. It was ever present. And I developed a passion for this at a very young age. Excellent. What is your primary promise to the public if you're elected? Yeah. My primary promise is that I'm going to fight for the people of the 18th district. So we need somebody who's going to go to Olympia and fight for the issues that are important to us and our values. And what that looks like is somebody who gives his word that he's never going to vote for a tax increase or a new tax, because I know that we can spend tax dollars better. And it's, you know, not a revenue issue. It's an allocation issue. Somebody who's going to fight for individual freedoms, personal property rights, and specifically to the people of the 18th district, somebody who's going to fight for an I-5 bridge replacement project that adds capacity and gets it done without tolls and without light rail. All right. All right. What do you feel like differentiates you most from your opponent? You know, uh, the big one, one of the big ones, you know, we're, we're really nothing alike is that I'm a hundred percent pro-life candidate. He's a hundred percent pro-abortion, pro-choice. Pro the other one is our stance on taxes. So I'm, like I said, committed to never voting for a new tax tax increase. He's on the Battleground City Council. He's voted for property tax increases six times and, uh, you know, talks on his website about how he's committed to doing it again as long as it kind of furthers uh, his agenda. So. Excellent. Our fourth and final question is, what did you learn during the primary that has positively impacted you during this general election? I ran for the House of Representatives two years ago unsuccessfully, and I learned a lot of lessons the hard way by losing. And so I, I took those and applied them in the primary. And what, what we did is I got out and met people. My team and I knocked on 13,000 doors, and about half of those were actually me, myself, and there's no substitute for getting out and talking to people in person on their doorstep, letting them know that I'm accessible, uh, that I care about the issues that matter to them and their family. And I want to go to Olympia to work on those issues. So we have continued that in the general election, getting out, knocking on doors, talking to people. Everything that I put out 
has my email and my cell phone number so that people can get a hold of me, that I can be transparent and accessible. Um, and I just, I want people to know that I care about what they care about. And so, you know, reach out to me, talk to me. That's why I do want to encourage people to check out my website, bradbentonforsenate.com. You can find out all my information as well as my, my contact info. And, uh, yeah. All right. Brad, thank you so much for your time and thanks for sharing with our listeners today. We appreciate you being on. Thank you guys so much for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah. Well, I'm Brad Payne with FPIW Action. And I'm Brian Noble with FPIW. For the reminder, nothing in this video is considered an endorsement of the candidate nor the candidate's endorsement of FPIW or FPIW Action. Like we like to say around here, go out there and defend in advance biblical values in the public square. God bless.